world is becoming far more competitive than it was 5, 10, 15 years ago. Our kids are now going out and they're going to have to compete against kids on a, not only a national level but an international level. And in order to do that, we cannot keep doing things the same way. We can't excuse letting kids fall through the cracks and we can't excuse uh, systems that aren't doing everything that they can to help kids. Um, I think we need to stop excusing this in our society and expect something different and that's a little of what I see in District 2. And we're ready to take the next step. And the next step is to graduate our students at a 90% rate. But more than that, 70% of those who graduate need to be college and career ready. We're changing the paradigm. For us on the inside, the changes, in my opinion, aren't that drastic that have occurred over the last five years. These are changes that needed to be made um, within the district. Uh, these are changes that need to be made statewide and nationwide as we need to prepare our kids a lot better. I love teaching in Harrison School District because no other district I have ever worked in has these high expectations. I feel very supported by my administration. They have supported me through the years and are just trying to make me the best teacher I can be. While I know that some people view the changes that are happening in Harrison District as challenging and controversial, I really value the change that's happening because it's helping kids grow and achieve. Change is hard, but change always means we work harder, and I, as a teacher of District 2, am willing to make the change for my students. This community is ready to show the rest of the city, the rest of the state, the rest of the United States our kids can achieve. They're ready to achieve. Not only can they go to college, but they can choose any college that they want to. Our kids are ready to get their masters. Our kids are ready to get their doctorates. Our kids are ready to run the world. When we look at what's actually happening with our students through things like social promotion, that's one of the things that needed to end a long time ago. And I'm also glad that we're now recognizing students who are working extra hard, honoring them with the differentiated poems and things like that. It does take a village to raise a child, and in District 2 we are that village. We are each accountable to ensure that our children get the best education possible to move forward. The things I know that we need to do as parents is to get our kids to school on time for sure, and then make sure that they read every night faithfully, and also get their homework done and turned in on time. You need to be involved. Involving yourself with your child's education allows you to have input. Knowledge is power. You need to get out there and find out what's going on in your schools, what's going on in your district. And the more information you get, the more you will be behind this initiative of higher standards and higher goals. Expect more of yourself as a parent. Um, we are a first teacher for our children and we need to model what it is we want our children to be like in the future. Parents, you should be very proud of the fact that you have a school district that is willing to go out and de develop whatever relationships are required to help them achieve and raise the expectations for these young people. With new leadership at District 2, there's been a sense of urgency around education and community and building the whole child from the inside out. There's more work to be done and that work can't just fall on the schools. It can't just fall on the parents. You need the whole community. That's where the partners come in. It absolutely needs to be the partnerships with local businesses and agencies and nonprofits. There needs to be care and attention given to the family the environment in which our youth are, are, are surviving in today. We have got to, to make our children a priority. All of us working together will give that same message to the student and that will be what makes the difference. We want you to be a part of this with us, so come, join us. So we have a lot of kids in this district that are very, very hardworking kids. And they're very intelligent kids and they have a bright future. Many of them don't even know it yet. The better that we can prepare these kids, the further that they can take it to the future. And they're going to bring some of the best education and some of the greatest leadership to community organizations, jobs, colleges, universities. And I think the community is ready for that. There's light at the end of the tunnel and it's not a train. It's daylight, so stay the course. And um, we're here to support you.